Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my video. Today I'm going to show you how I transformed part of my basement into a beautiful 4K Dolby Atmos home theater system. I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step progress and at the end I'm also going to share with you the overall cost so that you have a better idea of what to expect. I hope you find this video useful and enjoy! So I chose this end uh, of my basement for the home theater. It seemed like a pretty natural choice. Uh, there wasn't too much light coming in. I also had uh, a good room-like setup, although I did not have all four walls. But uh, overall, it seemed like a good fit for the home theater. So the first step was to really prep for the paint. We did put rags on the carpet. We did tape the walls. The existing paint was quite shiny, so we used uh, some sanding paper to sand down the walls. Uh, and then obviously we had to decide on the color. Um, we went with a pretty dark color. Uh, we chose Benjamin Moore because I love Benjamin Moore's quality. Um, overall, when the paint came on the walls, it looked pretty well. So on the front wall, I wanted to do something different. So I went um, and actually used uh, wood lake planks, uh, which are pretty easy to put on. It's like you remove the stickers and then you just stick them onto the wall. The color matched perfectly. I got them from Costco um, and overall these looked great. So the next step was to put the screen on the wall. I ordered it from Amazon. It came unassembled. I had to assemble it. Um, it wasn't that difficult. Overall uh, the screen looked pretty good once we put it on the wall. It took us a little bit of time in uh, getting it right. But overall, uh, it wasn't that difficult. So once the screen was up, we were ready for the projector. And for this, I went to Best Buy and I grabbed uh, an Epson projector, which is not the uh, uh, true 4K, but um, it um, it works pretty well. It, I also ordered this mount from Amazon to hang the projector from the ceiling. So before I could power up the projector, I realized that I needed an electrician to come in and uh, create a couple of power outlets and also the, uh, install new light switches. Uh, so once that was done, I powered up the projector Then and it looked amazing. I mean, the first impression was great. So as soon as the electrician finished his work, I called in my general contractor and we started working on putting this wall, the fourth side, and we installed the door. Uh, the whole project just took one day close off this side and we finished it off by painting. It looked great once uh, we finished the two or three coats that we had to do. Um, the, the room now looked pretty good. So my audio equipment started to arrive. Uh, I had ordered this uh, Klipsch Dolby Atmos from Costco and I started unpacking it. I just realized I wanted the room to look actually better. So I said maybe I could install the crown moldings on the top and new base boards at the bottom. Uh, so we started on that. Overall, uh, the crown molding and the base boards, they changed the look of the room entirely. It looked great once they were put up there, I painted them. Although we had carpet in the room, but um, obviously once the walls were painted, we put the new moldings in. The older carpets just didn't cut it anymore. So we went to Home Depot, ordered something that was um, in stock. They came in the next week and um, installed the carpets uh, with, uh, with the new carpets in and the projector on. Uh, I started to feel like, yeah, it was something was coming together. The next step was to put the audio equipment in. Um, started to unpack it, looked at all the wires and cables. This was a pretty tough step because um, I had to do all the cable routing myself. I wanted to make sure that I can seal the cables, uh, that they were not visible. And since the speakers were like uh, spread and I did not have like any uh, existing uh, cable connections, I had to do a lot of the routing through the ceiling. Um, outside of the room, I identified uh, a closet as my equipment room. I did not order a new equipment closet or anything like that, but I just reused my existing closet as my equipment room 
at the end I was able to um, have a pretty clean install in terms of the all the cable routing and, and everything. The next step was to replace the existing lighting in the room. I installed new can lights. The overall room looked much brighter. So once I had enough light in the room and with the new painted walls, new carpet, it just felt like the old ceiling wasn't cutting it anymore. I wasn't sure what to do. Putting up a new ceiling was uh, out of my scope. So I didn't want to spend too much on the new ceiling. I did some research and I finally found these uh, drop type ceilings where you just lift your existing old tiles, you install these and then you put them back on. Overall, I cannot tell you how much of a difference uh, did that make to my, to my room. Uh, it, looked, uh, it looked great. So I realized that I had not installed the crown molding perfectly and there was a little bit of gap between the ceiling. So I became a little creative and um, installed this LED strip in between, which uh, kind of served two purposes. Now it hides that gap and also looks great. Um, the overall LED, uh, it, it came out pretty well. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You found something useful, uh, an inspiration. I really enjoyed it. I use it all the time. I think it's, it was worth all the effort and the money that I put in. Um, before I give you a final tour, I'm going to add um, a list of the equipment and the overall cost, like uh, what did I end up spending, just so that you have a, a better idea. With that, thank you very much and good luck.